Welcome back to another episode of Off-Centered Outdoors Podcast. It's me, Matt Docksetter, here again with uh, the almost birthday boy. Why'd you have to bring up that dirty, rotten subject? No, we got to have something to talk about. Yep, I'm your barefoot, $5 an hour hamburger flipping, insult dodging, <laughs> um, animal stuff and midget moron from old guy, Chuck Testa. <laughs> it gets longer every week, right? That's what she said. Wait a wait li- yeah. Wait till, uh, yeah, all that crap they got going on and they can't find technology for that. (laughs) Right? Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see if they still like me after the show again and get more insults. I have a thing to say at the end. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. It's okay, it's not bad. (laughs) It says you. No, it's just truth, Uh which is probably bad. (laughs) Well, I'm sure, as the two of you that listen can tell, we had to take a week off because... Somebody had to go on a little bit of a vacation and didn't record while he was gone. He was supposed to. Yeah, well. But he was too busy having fun. I had some technical difficulties. Yeah, technically. You... Technically, it was difficult to right. <laughs> find a minute to do it. Yeah, because you were out uh, chasing goats. Yeah. Yeah, w- Wyoming for a few days with the boys, and that was fun. Filled three of five tags, so yeah, you could. And average. you know what? You could have probably tagged out too. You just had a couple of mishaps. Yeah, right? yeah. We, I think we probably could have, but and you were hunting public land. Yeah, in a in a unit where there's very little, and what most of what's there is landlocked. You, yeah, you can't access at least. I would say, I, I'd say at least a third of the public land you can't can't get to, if not more. It could be it could be more than that. <clears throat> yeah. Me. But you got an okay goat. Yeah, it's and 12 and a half inches. Not, uh, not the biggest one ever, but my biggest one ever. So Yeah, it's nice. Out of all of them I've killed, that's the first one. So, Really? Yeah. That's your first goat? No, I got a doe last time. but oh, Why did I think I get so confused? I see you with so many yeah. antelopes that uh, whatever. Yeah, no, I but it was a good time. I thought you got a, a buck somehow <laughs> or before I knew you no. or somehow. And put a mile stock on him and close the distance to about 350 yards and let the weather be and it uh, it did his job. Paws up. Yep, he went about 30 yards and keeled over. Did I ever tell you when I <coughs> shot my first animal what happened? No, I don't think so. So I waited like all year in anticipation. I was a young man, maybe mm-hmm. 20 something, you know? Yeah. 20, I don't know how old. Anyway. So, we were hunting outside of, uh, between Rollins and Bags, and it was different then, like the, land, you know, BLM land was all yeah more, right? Mm-hmm. So, we drive up to this gate, the guy tells us to, after waiting all year, there's this 14-inch buck standing 50 <laughs> yards from the thing. So, I shoot it, uh-huh. and I'm done in like one minute, but that's not the funny part. I shot it. And I thought my buddy Ken mm-hmm. was spotting it, right? Yeah. So I was reloading, making sure, and we look up, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> gone. Completely gone. Yeah. And we're doing like a circle thing, and we're doing all that crap, and we're looking here and there. What had happened was, was standing in front of this sagebrush, mm-hmm. and there was a hole. <laughs> ah. <laughs> behind it, mm-hmm. and it, the impact, it blew through the uh the brush and went down in the hole and then the brush came up oh. and covered the hole <laughs> so yeah i can see how that could happen so you know the the 10 foot rule was alive and well when i didn't even know it was a rule <laughs> yeah and then the other like part it. was i was like done after you know yeah but they do say i've heard over the years don't pass up no for sure no that was the best like that was the Beyond the potential for the area. Yeah, no, that sounds like a pretty good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we saw some pretty pretty nice ones. We missed a missed an opportunity on a pretty good one, but mm-hmm. it, it went it went pretty well, I think, overall. Mm-hmm. And when you're hunting the last week of the season, they're already pretty smart. So, yeah, yeah. After the first two days, it's an issue. Yeah, yeah. We decided to go later in the season, so there wasn't anybody else really out there. So. Mm-hmm. 
kind of kind of worked, kind of bit us in the butt, but we got her figured out for the most part. So. Well, I would call it a successful hunt. Oh, heck yeah. You saw a game, you got, in fact, I was thinking that like the, the forecast for that area wasn't that frosty anyway. Yeah. No, right. it's it's not a trophy area. So. That well, that in the winter was a little bit there too, right? It actually, it didn't seem to have been as bad, but I mean, it was weird. We saw way more deer in that area than we saw last time we were there. Last time we maybe the whole time saw four or five deer. This time we couldn't even go ten feet without jumping a whole mess of mule deer. So I don't know what's really? going on. Yeah, there's deer all over the goddamn place, and and there was plenty of antelope too. It was just hard to catch them on public land. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. And how's the kid doing, Nate? Uh, as far as I can tell, he's doing pretty good. He sent me a picture yesterday. He bought himself a little pumpkin. He said he's going to try to make his little house he's got there at home while he's there. So, Really? He's got his own bunkhouse? Or yeah, I don't, I don't know if he's sharing it with other guys or what, but mm. he's doing okay. He got his last group of hunters the other day, got them all tagged out, so he's doing good. Yeah, I bet he, I mean, uh, I just... I don't know. I'm so impressed. It sounds stupid, but <laughs> how many 18-year-olds these days yeah. do you know that are already, that not only couldn't wait to leave, mm -hmm. did, yeah. like the old days, found himself a job, mm -hmm. and is actually doing a job right now that he loves. Yeah, exactly. So You know? It's hard to it's hard to be mad at him. Mm -mm. We, we missed the living hell out of him. Well, no, that's the issue. It's It's, I don't think you guys were... Caught you unawares yeah, a little sure. bit. You weren't, I don't know if you're ever ready, but, yeah. I mean, because they got to go. But I think with you, it kind of snuck up on you. Yeah, for sure. It did. It, 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 it all kind of happened pretty quick, but that's all right. It's, it is what it is. So I'll take yeah. the cord there. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't say it. What What else has uh, been going on over here? Yeah, well, I just had a thought that I was going to say. Uh oh. And then it's, as is my custom, it disappeared. That'll but it would have been good. No. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I know what it was. I got that odd ad from. Oh, yeah. Yeah. From uh, wandered off a of Hearst Castle into some guy's crosshairs. Yeah, whatever works. And that was fun for something different. Yeah. I mean, I'd done a you gazillion odd ads. Stuff. Yeah. That's weird because that's what Frazier says. Yeah. He says, for some little fuck, some little You're stuff. Good. Yeah, he says. You get weird stuff, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. weird random things that, you know, like the baby zebra job or yeah. the, <laughs> whatever the hell else we did. I, who even knows? I don't, I can't remember, Yeah, you know, but that was, uh, I think that was a direct result of somebody's not around anymore. Ah, you know, definitely possible, but, uh, you knew me through someone, I don't know. Whatever, I don't care. Whatever works. Yeah, man, and that thing, the interesting thing to me, mm -hmm. I wish I could measure more of them because, yeah. you know, normally we can't even measure. They're already masked out. But mm -hmm. um, the interesting thing is how rugged this one was. Yeah. Compared to them groomed up ones on the... Yeah. You know? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, this thing's pretty rugged. And it was, I think it was nine. I counted the rings and... Uh, and the tank. Yeah. It looked like a pretty damn good one. Yeah. No, the body was a tank, man. Yeah. Like, might even be bigger than Richard's. Wow. Yeah. But, you know, well, Richard's mount is a new hot setup, so. Yep. Oop. That thing I did with the legs, I'm going to do it again. Yeah. So, hey, whatever works. If you find something that works, you can go with it, right? Yeah, but, you know, don't tell them because it's ooh, ick, and yeah. way bad. Plus, is way way difficult yeah <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. i'm in a mood today uh-huh yep yeah and, oh and then oh because almost the birthday boy mm -hmm. so yesterday shay says oh i got you a birthday present and she's coming to you know she's really knocking these uh that um uh, grant job out for the raptor center yeah and uh, she says, I'm going to bring it on your birthday. I said, oh, you don't have to get me anything because I forgot to get you something. She says, oh, no, I had to get it because I'm going to use it too. <laughs> so when you come next week, there may be a new something here at the shop that nice. we need that I'm unaware of. Yeah. Right. But the point is, she says, how old are you? And I told her. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh. <laughs> 
It's an O oh, what? Oh, I thought you were like not that old. Ah. <laughs> well, yeah, she could have been nice and light and gone the other way. True, but but she said uh, I go why? Because I act the fool. Yeah. <laughs> she goes no, you just don't. You just don't seem like you're yeah old. Yeah, for sure. Most days. Most days. Yesterday was a. Well, I got out of that funk. Sometimes, man, I don't know. Well, it was a series of sad things. Yeah. And it, and it's okay to be sad sometimes. Mm -hmm. You're not bulletproof. No, know? for sure. And uh, and then I think of the wrongs and. Uh, Ah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, if it's any consolation, it must have been something in the air because I had a pretty shitty day yesterday too. What happened? I, I thought you know. were—you sounded like your normal happy man. Yeah, well, I put on a good show sometimes, mm -hmm. but no, it was a—I was having a pretty rough one yesterday. But well, that's because just no waves and right. Yeah, just shit happens. Mm-hmm. So, well, first of all, any day you got to flush a pig is. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. Is <laughs> uh. Man, you got that giant hog killer, huh? Yep, we got one more, one more in from him, and then this other one is this kid's first uh, big game animal ever. Really? Yeah. So it's gonna be a, gonna be a fun one to do. Oh, I thought maybe the other guy said he was bringing you another big well, he, hog. He, too. he did get another one too, but it, I think that one's gonna be a euro. Oh, uh, it's there's nothing too special about this other one, but hey, whatever. It's not an XL like that other king. It's still pretty big, but. Mm. You can only have so many giant pigs on your wall, right? Says you. <laughs> Whatever happened to that guy that shot like them 13 barrel pigs in one day? I don't know. You know that guy that used to, sh then he was doing all his own euros? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't say people's names on that, except yeah. for Richard and Matt and Jeff. And yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh! Speaking of that. Mm hmm. So this guy comes yesterday. You know how somebody says they're going to bring you something, and then, yeah, right? Yeah. And this was like a month ago, so I forgot, uh -huh. and, you know, because it wasn't the same day. Yeah. And uh, then he starts reminding me that his first deer he brought here, I was up at Mike's, I guess. Oh. No. And this is before B, BM, before <laughs> Matt, you know? Yeah. I've been called that before. Yeah. So, uh. Um, that's better than BS or yeah. something. Anyway, uh, see how it works? Mm hmm So, apparently Jeff was taking stuff in for me. Ah. So he said, whatever happened to Jeff? <laughs> I go, well, he's still around. And then he was asking this. I said, shit, I don't know. So I go to Shay. Shay, can you explain this guy, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> she starts laughing. She goes, no, I can't, I can't explain. So then I then I remembered what the rest of said. I said, well, Jeff is like your retarded younger brother, if you had one. Yeah. I said, that's all I can really say. So, and it's okay to say that because somebody famous said that to his face. So, yeah. Wow. You know. I said, Jeff is family. He's still around. He's mm -hmm. still doing birds but he's just jeff yep you know absolutely he goes well he was gonna yeah i know i know he was gonna yeah whatever yeah. sorry i said now if you go and i'm not here then it'll be matt and it'll be <laughs> a better situation we'll you know. see <laughs> that's funny so well what else you got no cooking uh, allegedly we got the barbecue this weekend at the uh what's it called smoke and rust festival i don't it's antique smoke and, and rust yeah it's an antique and barbecue festival up in paso robles at the warbirds oh. museum oh no way at the yeah. warbirds museum yeah so we'll see it's uh i don't know it, it doesn't look like much of a money-making venture i got us into so we'll see how it goes oh my chg guy i mean you will see her in there yeah yeah mm -hmm. i have donated all my vehicles to the Warbird Museum in <laughs> Paso Robles. They have my name on them. Oh, sorry. You're good. I know the guys, you know. But yeah, right. we'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Right now, it, the meat prices are kind of stupid, and the way they've got what we're selling set up is not going to be very fruitful. But we'll see. I could be wrong. Uh, I hope I am. 
You gotta just suit up and show up like we always talk about, right? Well, yeah, but it's a lot of work to not make any money. Well, you're taxing them. Yeah, I can. What make, are you thinking? I, I, you can make no money staying at home. Exactly. <laughs> I can. I can. I can stay home and not make any money and not work. That's right. <laughs> But hell, I'm already seven hundred dollars deep into this thing before we buy any food. So, what? Yeah, I had to pay pay? The, pay the entry and pay for the uh, temporary food facility permit. So, oh man, yeah, it's all good. No, I know it's good. It's part of the game, but game's getting expensive. It is. It's it's. I heard you get less boo for your buck now. Even Halloween candy doubled or something. Oh yeah, it's all. Everything goes up. You know that. No, because when they said how much for oh, <clears throat> so the last three calls I got mm -hmm. was a Shih Tzu, a squirrel pet, and a three pound dog, as is my custom. Yeah. So I shot them the price on the squirrel, and it was silence. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and uh, and he goes well, but he never had anything done. He's a, some kind of squirrel rescuer guy. Or oh, something. okay. And he goes, uh, well, that makes sense. I go, well, thank you. Because I just had no experience. I said, well, what do you think? 200? Yeah. I yeah. go, what is 208? I said, I don't want to punish you because you seem like a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, what were you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, again, where do you live? Do you live in California? Because, mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah, the, the, the pricing saga continues throughout the taxidermy world unfortunately people are still not getting it but it seems like people are waking up a little bit well they have to because even the quote people that say they're not going to raise their prices yeah it's still break even mm -hmm. at that price yeah if you're lucky if you're lucky if they did an honest an honest not the pretend one not the tanning the yeah mannequin and the eye shit Cause they don't even add shipping onto that. Mm -hmm. The honest one where you got your your taxes, your utility, you know what yeah. I mean, the whole yeah, bit. Exactly. And uh, and then you want to make so much an hour, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you got to be able to pay yourself, right? But like I was saying on one of the Facebook groups, we were talking about it. I think the biggest problem with pricing in this industry is the amount of hobby taxidermists that right. aren't doing this to make a dollar they're doing it for fun mm -hmm. so why would billy joe bob bring us his deer for twelve hundred dollars when he could take it down the road for four hundred or whatever the case may be because and, the four hundred dollar deer never mind well you're gonna like i tell people you're gonna get what you pay for hundred percent typically you're gonna get what you pay for there is outliers on both sides mm -hmm. i know of a couple guys that are professionals that uh are about the same what we are and yeah we call it crusty well not uh, crusty would be a compliment to one oh of okay <laughs> well, i'm not gonna you know and me i don't really pay attention i'm anymore. not gonna pick right? on anybody i feel like i've done my time and i'm like genuinely yeah you know what hey if you want to hurt yourself i can't you know i tried to like fraser you know you mm -hmm. think you think People want to make money. Yeah. You think if you, you, you give them the keys, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But right when you're telling them, they're already rethinking what you're telling them. And, yeah. And figure, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, exactly. It is what it is. People mm -hmm. are never going to grow up. So mm -mm. we'll just keep doing what we're doing. And The only thing I can really honestly say with confidence is when all this shit clears, we're still going to be here. In theory. No, we we'll ain't a problem. Well, unless there's a nuke or something, but yeah. you know, or the comet. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll just say this now instead of at the end. So I noticed over the weekend, very much things going on in this country mm -hmm. that really surprised me, because I know personally two guys that went to war. Yeah. To stop this kind of hatred. Yeah. You know, and uh, I was very surprised. I don't understand, but I will say this: if you stay silent on something, if you have an opportunity, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Then you're as complicit as sure. as as the people committing the atrocities. Yeah. And I don't know how they can flip it on this one country because if 
they taught history, we wouldn't even be here. Yeah. Because originally it belonged to to them, and then it was taken by force. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and then it was given back at the war. You know, and uh, and in the country that they're fighting in, finally they just gave up and said, "Here, take this. This is yours." Yeah. And that still wasn't, you know, what I mean. And then you're still screwed. So, mm -hmm. but when it comes to chopping babies' heads off with shovels and and I, I'm. Whatever. I I don't know how you can say to the other people it's their fault. Yeah. They deserve it. And then the, the, the amount of, in the streets is crazy. Mm -hmm. And again, I'll probably be the guy alone, surrounded and getting my ass kicked. But if, <laughs> if I saw something going on in my town, I would go over and say something. Yeah. But I can't go to New York because it's too far. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Just like if I ever see the guy in the dress at Disneyland confusing my granddaughter you know <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a you're gonna film at 11 yeah wow well. short barefoot man arrested for hitting cinderella or something <laughs> yeah well sorry man i don't i, I, you I know, know I, you don't we try to stay I out of it. it i try i try to live by the live and let live kind of a thing but yeah sometimes you can't i get it no you can't this is we're entering in a thing that's going to escalate sadly mm-hmm and uh, who knows where it's going to end. Yeah. But people got the right to defend themselves. And oh, they, absolutely. And they were minding their own business. Yeah. And uh, like my other song, remember my Jihad song? I made up this other song. Yeah. Like I was sitting in my tank, minding my own affairs. Mm hmm When a Jihad grenade caught me unawares. <laughs> Sorry. Poor Matt. <laughs> oh, you're good. So send all your complaints to me, actually, yeah. not him, because I can take it. There's like three people watching, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. Well, I found out why I did get on platform for the monetized part mm -hmm. because this other group that was fighting a certain thing got demonetized hmm. for the same deal. Interesting. Yeah. But the interesting thing was is they're on the other team, so to speak. Nah. Which they were really surprised that they got, you know. Yeah. Because they're trying to let people know not everybody is, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why my channels don't go anywhere. <laughs> no, they don't go anywhere because we got to direct the traffic to it. Well, I'm sure. We have been. We have been? Yep. It's um, all good. Well, why don't you do it without me then? <laughs> I, don't I don't think really that's going to make it any better. Oh. Oh, I got that tip. I never did send it to you. What the oh, fuck? I forgot all about it. Yeah, I did a tip on the buffalo horn thing over there. Mm -hmm. Well, halfway through it, I did it because Wendy goes, you ought to put a tip on that. Because uh, yeah. Matt did it one way, which worked mm -hmm. really good, actually. But then I was thinking, what if I took his idea mm -hmm. and opposited it? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And that worked, too. So basically, you could do it yeah. two ways. Yeah, there's definitely always more than one way to skin a cat. Because you took the lag bolts, put it in the wood, right? Mm -hmm. And then put the bondo. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So basically, I did it where I put the bondo and the lag bolt in the horn. Yeah. And drilled a pilot hole and did a twisty on thing. Mm -hmm. And then I locked it in the back with a screw. Yeah. Yeah, you get the same result either way. Just, either way, so it just depends what you want to do. Depends how big your bull is. Depends yeah. on a lot of things. <coughs> Excuse you. me. Gee, many Christmas. Yeah, yours was like a management bull type situation. Mine was a cow. Oh, a cow. Yeah. His was not even a cat bull situation. Yeah. Well, I probably would have done it the same way, honestly. That just doesn't matter. But for me, I found you never know where the holes are going to land sometimes. Yeah. Unless you use the skull, which I explained in the mm -hmm. in the tip, you use the skull and they're not using it, then you line it perfect every time. Yeah, you know, and plus it makes it easier. We just bondle them on like those sheep horns, mm -hmm. but most people don't go that route. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, anyway, that's that's sad that it's not because the Billy Bush guy will probably push it. You know, yep. and uh, we got people that we know do listen, 
that yeah. are somebody's. It's, you know? it, it's definitely growing. It's just growing at a snail's pace, but it is what it is. They didn't, uh, didn't build the pyramids in a day. Yeah, they did. It was aliens. Yeah, of course. They didn't Don't you know? They dug the ground away and there was a pyramid there. Mm -hmm. I think that's what happened. That, that's what I think, too. No, I think it might be older than, the, you know what I mean? Oh, of course. I, I, There's yeah. theories, but... Oh, I figured out this other thing, as is my custom. Mm -hmm. I figured out how they could... Uh, how they got them giant, like, 170,000 ton rocks up high. Mm -hmm. They started with it on the ground first. And then they jacked it up somehow. You know what I mean? And then yeah. they, no, and then you build a block under it. Mm -hmm. Right? Then you jack it up another block. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You get what I mean? They didn't mm -hmm. take the top and put it on like we do now. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That was in my dream anyway. So... <laughs> You know? Yeah. Then I was saddened to see that there was sunglasses on my Bigfoot video. You know? Uh-huh. So I sent it to Mike, right? Because I said, is that a shadow? Or because or, I can't really tell if it's got... And no, no, he goes, I can see the frame. I go, damn it! <laughs> and he goes, no, you can still believe, just not in that one. Yeah. Because then he retold the other stories that were credible, so mm -hmm. then that made me feel better. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, that last video was a little bit... Uh... He said all well, the stupid teenagers probably forgot about high def, and they thought they were far enough away that you wouldn't pick up the... Yeah. So next time you're going to do a... Ho First of all, I don't think that I'd get in a suit with the things the way it is now Yeah. and go running around because of... Eventually, someone's going to shoot somebody mm -hmm. to prove you exist. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You're going to, you, you've, you've only got so many times you can do it until you run into a nutball. Right. You know? Mm hmm. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's like that guy I interviewed on the thing and he told me the real story. I go, why didn't you throw it in the truck? And, uh, he goes, because there were two wardens at the end of the road. Yeah. And they didn't have a bear tag, too, or some bullshit. You know, there's yeah. always there's always something, right? Yeah, I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings about that guy's events that transpired. So Me, too, because as soon as he said bear tag. But, again, man, the way he was and took life. I mean, I don't know. It's mm -hmm. it's a tough call. No, for sure. Why would he, he really punish knows. himself that way, though? Looking I mean, the he, same. Oh, never mind. Had, I was going to say, who wants to be famous his, that bad? His 15 but then, turned into 30 minutes. Then uh, I realized someone else we know that wants, you know, so I go, who would do that, yeah. you know? I guess we're built different. No, yeah, no I, I, I understand. I mean, some people won't take it by any means. And who knows? Maybe his story was completely everything that happened the way it happened. Who knows? I Only him and the guy he was with and God. Yeah. Well, in the Bigfoot that allegedly was there. But <clears throat> you just never know. No, no. So, but anyway, when Mike was retelling that one story with his uncle or whatever, he just mm -hmm. said the whole way, the way the hairs go up on his arms, the way his face, I mean, it's just. Yeah. But the other guy with the pictures, that was the real, you know, in yeah. the thing. And then they, you know, in the. Yeah, I was a hundred percent Mike's son. You know, it's just you no. Know, I think there's just a few of them, and they got legs. Yeah, well, they, or got, maybe they're going extinct. There's got to be enough to keep a population going if they're. Uh, well, they figured like six thousand. Yeah. You know, which is just enough. Yeah, that's exactly it. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Really, there could be a gazillion of them. They got it figured out to where we're never going to see them. Well, let's put it this way. Mike's told me the story where he was hunting one time mm -hmm. with his Elmer Fudd hat on and uh, in his Levi's, as is his custom, with like a red shirt. Yeah. And he's standing in front of a tree not moving. And two guys walked by like 10 feet from him. Yeah. And then when he said hello, they about shit their pants. <laughs> I mean, and that's just a guy standing there not moving. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So well, there you go. Maybe Mike's Bigfoot. He could be. 
You never thought of that one, huh? Well, no, we were laughing about the look on his face, you know, because mm -hmm. the one he was born with, and they quit intimidating me. <laughs> <laughs> well, because we were talking about the guy that was getting accused of intimidating a witness or something. Mm. And my, I said, you'd be in contempt of court all day long yeah. just for looking, uh -huh. you know. He goes, yeah, but I was born with this face. Yeah. I love that story. You know? Yep. Oh, boy. So today we got back to at least mountain something so we don't yeah. lose our... Throw a couple throw a couple critters together and move forward as we do. Yeah, we got the cow done, as you can see behind us yep. again. But it looks pretty good. No, I like it. Yeah. I think you'll be happy with it. Maybe not. Oh, well. I even washed that one. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to have fun washing buffalo. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather mount it like Mike, but I can't not get one drop of some. That guy can get nothing. Yeah. At that time, remember I told you? Mm hmm He goes, come here. I go, what? <laughs> Points to his shoe. Uh-huh. See that? What? That drop of foam? Yeah, that's a drop of foam. <laughs> and it's your fault. Uh-huh. The first foam I ever got on my shoes. <laughs> you know? Yep. So, and yet, here I sit. Uh-huh. But yeah, we're starting to chug away on the next load of stuff so who yeah knows what's gonna happen we got a few more things allegedly coming in so yeah, yeah. my african got bumped till thursday which bummed me out too because then you start thinking what we nice. think you know it's been this long what's another couple of days says you yeah but no i, I well i don't yeah I gotta, actually why do i take, yeah. when i think about it that way for sure no, i got i've got a couple of deer here to pick up right That came in while I oh, was... yeah, duh. Hello. Yes, you got two deer here. Yeah, a couple deer here. I've got. I'm supposed to pick one up on Friday, so they're still trickling in. We'll see. Yeah. I've got another two guys I'm supposed to call back that I kind of forgot to call back yesterday, so mm -hmm. I'll call them back later. <laughs> um, no, it's a late year, like I said. No, for sure. That's they're either early years or late years. Yeah. And then you always get more things. We say this over and over. Mm -hmm. So you might not get, boy, I haven't even got, like, last year I had, like, half a dozen elk already. Yeah. So who even knows, you know? Oh, yeah. No, for sure. But right, right now I had just gotten a couple of elk in that I'm trying to get out of my shop right now, so. Mm -hmm. the one, Those two that I hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. Sent them a picture. Awesome. We'll be there in two weeks. Bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's all good. I know they're going to get picked up. So that's the important part. So the silence, like the codes I've been teaching you, what does this call mean? What does that message yeah. mean? What does this mean? And when they call, hey, I'm checking on, okay. Yeah. They want to know. They don't want it. They want to know where you're at with it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Then when we all, how we screw them up is they're always done. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem, you know? Yeah, for sure. Oh, don't sound so happy. Right. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, my wife left me and my, uh, whatever, my business is down 5 billion percent. Yeah. And, uh, whatever. The mm -hmm. dog ate my homework and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always something. It's always the same. Uh -huh. Which is why you guys get here sick of us talking about, but it just is, and it's businesses. Yeah. You could almost set your watch by it, really. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why when Shay started, and, and uh, I said, I'm just going to train you kind of like what I was, what you did that I like, is you set your boundaries way soon. Yeah. You know? And at her, I said, I'll train you on what each of these messages mean. Yeah. And then you can decide whether you want to do the job or not. You know? Yeah, for sure. That's right. I have a small job. It's just a small job. Yeah. It's like it's just, just a little little forty year old elephant. Yeah. No, then the last one was this canary. Oh I forgot I got that call too. Yeah. So I said, well or you know, five ninety five minimum. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I go, yeah, you thought a hundred bucks, right? This is true. Oh, yeah. yeah. I said, yeah. I go, what? Again, we have to go through. Here I go. I'm going to just record this mm -hmm. statement and or pull out a paper and read it. Yeah. 
you know? Mm -hmm. I said, you know, the smaller the bird, it's way more difficult. Yeah. For one thing, we can do it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I said, the, the setup to get to that point is the same if it's that big or a freaking goose. I yeah. mean, you know, there's a minimum amount of work that yeah. that's, the process is the same. Mm hmm Oh yeah, yeah. No, now you don't want it that bad, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Side of the set. I think she's got one, a yellow one. She can sell you just like it. <laughs> <laughs> if I know Shay on her Etsy, right? Uh -huh. So, you know. So they don't want it that bad. Yeah, as is their custom. Yeah, it is. So. Well, yeah. so tomorrow's your birthday, right? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Uh. Besides work. Oh! Going to a Italian place on Main Street for nice. dinner. Wendy made reservation. Awesome. Yeah. We're going to go actually leave the Fortress of Solitude. We'll see. I demand pictures. I'll give you a picture. <laughs> since you challenged me. <laughs> you should call Uber Eats and have it delivered. No. Well, last year they did. She uh -huh. went to Olive Garden. Not Olive Garden. Where'd she go? I haven't been out to dinner on my birthday since Ferraro's closed, you know? Yeah. Which is probably five, I don't even know how long. Wow. Well, you know? Yeah. And then she got me, there's a whole, when you go in to use the bathroom, that whole buffet is full of presents. Oh, nice. So I'm wondering, really kind of curious, because what, <laughs> you know, like, what is all this? I mean, you know, I don't think there's like a... Uh, a German Panzer M34 cap under there. Or, you never uh, know. Maybe you know. maybe it's all that World War II stuff that she said he didn't need. You I just hope. never know. Oh, I never thought of it like that. Or maybe it's just empty boxes to throw you off. That would be cool. <laughs> One year when I got her some diamond earrings, I started with a box this big. Uh huh. You done that? Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Put a couple rocks in there so it's nice and heavy. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. One thing I did find when in gift giving, don't ever give your wife a t-shirt with your face on it. it. said, my husband is awesome. I found that not great. No, there's other things that I've learned yeah. too. Very many important safety tips. Oh, I forgot to post that one about the bird and the, sent you the picture at the dryer. Oh, yeah. Friday or Sunday or whatever uh -huh. day it was. Actually, you should read the label. No tumble dry. Don't tumble dry it. Yeah. Hand wash only. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I found the bird, though. <laughs> well, there you go. Holy crap. And the clothes weren't dry, and he couldn't figure it out. And, you know. <laughs> oh, man, shit happens to me, you wouldn't believe. Check you your know. lint trap. There's a pelican in there. It was. Or a goose <laughs> or something. Not a pelican. Don't say that. Oh! Forgot. Yesterday, I get a call. They're looking for a, a bear claw, just one, to sell. Huh. And just a small piece of bear hide. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's not suspicious. Mm, not at all. You know? Yeah. So, we don't call those ones back. Nah, not usually. Once in a while, there might actually be some ignorant person, but yeah. I don't think so. No, yeah, but those that don't know, you can't sell bear parts in California. And oh, yeah, if you're listening that's out that's of state, it's a felony, actually. Yeah, that's a pretty common trap along with, hey, I've got a hawk that just fell dead in my backyard. No, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even look like it's been, uh, yeah. hey, let's put it under this uh, glow light. Because <laughs> they do that invisible ink shit. Uh -huh. They've got all kinds of ways they mark shit. Oh, I you don't know? doubt it. So, well, yeah. I, I tell them the same thing. Bring me the paper, mm -hmm. and I'll do it. Yep. Yep, if you got the, the paper. museum paperwork, you're good to go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't get any bright ideas when you see all them four species here because they got paperwork and they got a grant and they got everything. Yeah. And like I said, but I wouldn't put it past them because that one warden back in the horrible days mm -hmm. actually went after the Boy Scouts and it, it caused them to quit doing, you know, it's yeah. terrible. And it was all legal. And I go like, what the hell are you picking on the Boy Scouts for? That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Somebody trying to make a name. Yeah, he was. I should say his name, but 
Meh. He's probably retired by now. You know, probably a pretty good chance. Well, hey, yeah. we're 40 minutes into this thing. What do you think? Uh-uh. You, you have anything else to talk about? No, I talked about the one thing I needed to get off my mm -hmm. chest. Right. But, you know, because I'm just really, I'm saddened at the, at the ignorance mm -hmm. and the amount of hatred and 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 who's really the you know they said that guys like me old white guys are the most dangerous of the, no they didn't say that shit no i never you know yeah. and and it's not true mm -hmm. and these people are a danger you know they're they're some of them are even in congress mm -hmm. i'm like yeah. what the hell you know whatever happened to like trees you know or aiding and abetting or something mm -hmm. you know yeah i don't know but i guess uh we're not supposed to know i guess no, it's just so different than yeah. when I was a kid. And I hope that someday it gets back to it. And kids like Nathan mm -hmm. and Shay and Billy the Kid and some of these other kids give yeah. me hope. They give me hope. For sure. For the future, you know. Yep. So, because uh, they're not all worthless meatheads or a wasted generation. Yeah. I no, think we just, we just hear about the ones that make all the noise. Yep. You never hear the good stuff. No, mm -hmm. so we're going to... They don't report that on the news. We should have a good stuff sec segment on our thing, you know, about maybe a kid. We, maybe we'll do that. We'll start to uh, find start, a kid. Start and, doing some homework. Yeah, that's a great idea you had, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I get one every now and then. I'm glad you I channeled did. it over to you. Good. Well, because uh, it has to come from you or because <laughs> I'm not. I mean, sometimes I feel like my kids think I'm like a ping pong ball. Mm. That I just wake up in the morning and I bump into this wall and I go this way and I bump into that and then I bump into like I walk, you know, aimlessly. I thought you meant tiny and white. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to add that, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to keep it with the insult dodging part because yeah. that encompasses all the crap I get, uh -huh. you know, you know, all in one. I can't go a day without giving you at least some kind of shit. Well, it's appreciated. It wouldn't be me if no, I didn't. No, no, and it's all out of love. See, that's the thing, is the real friends, real family, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it's uh, whatever. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's uh, is that's how we are. We're like a family yeah. here. It's all in fun. It's all in fun, and if you if everybody, I mean, oh my God, like I said, going back to when I was a kid. Yeah. They'd all be dead. Oh yeah. The crap, you know. That that we got when we were kids, even you got when you were kids is is oh yeah even unbelievable. As a fucking forty year old man, I get plenty of shit. So well, not because we're married, but well. you know that that's uh, and then like I said, the minute you really give up and realize you're already dead, you can start living. Yeah, so. no shit. <laughs> All right, well let's All get right. the hell out of here. Get let's to get work. the hell out and get. All to right, work. guys, thanks for watching. If you're watching, thanks for listening. If you're listening, yeah, check please, us out please anywhere. Share. You, check us out anywhere you get podcasts. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and YouTube, of course. Please share these, like these, hit that thumbs up if you're there, hit the bell. Anything to keep this algorithm growing and uh, keep us in your face. Thank you. I was keeping my mouth shut because... <laughs> you almost made it the whole time. Too. I did. All oh, right. you were done? <laughs> no, you're good. Oh, <laughs> check, check us out on Instagram <laughs> and any social media at Butcher Shop Taxidermy. At Ohio underscore Valley underscore taxidermy and uh, yeah. Oh, by it. the way, on Facebook, uh, I'm in jail, so I didn't do my birthday. He was there, so yeah, I wasn't really there, but yeah. that's a we gotta tell that story someday. Yeah, okay. well, hey, I just got a text message from the goldfish, so let's see what you he did. Has not to say. I did. I just saw it come up on my phone up there. Oh uh, no! All right, let's get All out right. of here and we'll see what uh, Ding Dong has. Well, to thanks say. for listening, and we're gonna post a quick tip. It's only like a minute and a half, and um. You're, who are you? I'm Matt Dockstetter. I'm Chuck Testa. And you're not. Have a good one, everybody. See you next week.